Yes? Have you found anyone to rent out your room yet? No. Come on in. You'll need to fill out some paperwork. Thanks. May I, uh, see the room first? Kind of eager, aren't we? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm actually a writer, and I'm working under a deadline, and I just really, really need a place to stay to finish my book. Really? What's it about? It's, uh, it's a love story. Hmm, interesting. Here's the room. It's four fifty a month, month to month. You're free to use the kitchen, and there's a washer and dryer. Rinse due the first of the month. No pets, no visitors, and no loud music. That's fine. Okay, then we just need you to fill out some paperwork and pay me first month's rent up front. Yeah. Okay. that you found the market. I did. You can use that cabinet right there. And okay. There's room in the refrigerator for you. Thanks. Hey, listen. I'm gonna make some dinner later. Do you wanna join? Yeah, I do. Good. What was your major? English. Also a double minor in history and economics. I'm impressed. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't be. It's <laughs> it's a really great combo if you like a lifetime of underemployment and years and years of student loan payments. Otherwise, not so much. Mm. Do you want to help me with the dishes? Yes. Sweet. How's your book coming along? Slow. I'm clearly a bit under-inspired. Love stories are difficult because there's a lot of loss. And loss is hard to live with. I could imagine it's harder to write about. How long have you lived here? Nearly 10 years. By yourself? My husband passed away a couple years ago. I'm sorry. Yeah, he was older than me. Do you have a picture of him? No, I don't. It's too painful to be constantly reminded of what I used to have.
Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I, I just, I tripped on something. Are you sure you're all right? I'm, I'm just a little tipsy. <laughs> yeah, I'd say more than a little bit. How about I make us some coffee, okay? No, 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 no. I need to get How to bed. How about I make us some coffee, okay? Come on. I'm sorry for waking you up. Don't be. Thanks for the coffee. It's my pleasure. I know I drank too much. It wasn't always like this. Maybe you've got a really good reason. I don't. I, I never envisioned my life to be like this, ever. Lonely? Friends. How's that working out for you? It has its moments. Well, I will say humanity is often overrated. Why? Because it is. It's self-perpetuating. You'd think after all these years, humanity would get it right. Wow. Now that's fucking dark. Maybe it's just the writer in me. No, oh, I think it's something more. I need a model. A model? Yeah. You. Oh, no. I'm not a model. Today you are. So get dressed. This isn't a great idea. I mean, what do I wear? Don't worry about it. Just find something. Come on, trust me. Come on. OK. Let's go. It's going to be really fun, OK? Who knows, you might fall in love with it. I doubt it. Well, you never know till you try. All right, Diane, can you turn around? Please? I promise the camera doesn't bite. All right, now just relax a little bit. Let your arms hang down. Feel your shoulders get loose. Put your arm, maybe like run, run through your hair. Look away for me. Perfect. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. Did you include loss? And love. In what order? There isn't a specific order. For me, at least. 
Loss is just a constant reminder of how fragile we all are emotionally. Hmm. Do you think someone could become emotionally whole again after a loss? Love conquers all. Are you going to be here for dinner tonight? I could be. Good. I hope you like raviolis. I love them. My grandmother used to make these for us when we were children, so they're very good. But don't judge me. I haven't made them for so a while. Your grandmother, is she from Italy? or? Yeah, she is. Do you mind if we don't? Everything was delicious, Diane. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad it came out pretty good. I think I found inspiration for my book. Really? It's been right in front of me this whole time. You do know that I'm renting a room so I can complete my book. I, I do, and I'm so sorry. You, you're so a beautiful woman, Diane. Really. Just, to be honest, I just can't. No, I mean, I, it's okay. I understand. Thank you. You really helped me. You've helped me find a part of me that was missing. A part that maybe no longer needs a little help. I'm glad I could help. Congratulations on finishing your book. Thank you. So you're going to be teaching until it comes out. Yeah, the semester starts next week. That's incredible, Kevin. I'm really happy for you. Thanks again for being my inspiration. I don't know what to say. I'm going to miss you. Me too. Can I help you? Yeah, I'm here about the room. Wonderful. I'm Diane. Hi, I'm Eric. Come on in. I'll show you the room. Thank you. 